Hello and welcome. I want to do a little video about my cervical myelopathy. This is um, the blog that I did for my cervical myelopathy. Um, so, progression. Um, had my surgery in February 2021 after waiting a year of being cancelled. I had an anterior disectomy infusion, which has cut me through the front. And I did get a lot of relief from it at first. I'm six, how far am I in? February, what are we now? Six months in. Six months in and the spasms have started again. Big spasms in my legs, across my chest. My balance is off again. Um, I feel cracking and creaking in my spine. Uh, I'm being positive. I know this sounds negative doing the video, but I'm doing it just to remind everybody. Let me show you a clip of my spasms in my leg. Okay. The 25th of February 2021 is when I had my surgery. Um, so we're about five months in now. right down to my knee. This degenerative disease that I have is severe progressive. I didn't think it'd be this quick and I worry what's gonna happen to my poor spine. <laughs> but I gotta stay active, positive, eat as well as I can, be as healthy as I can and look after myself. You gotta look after number one, haven't you? So um, I've called the doctors up today because of the spasms and told them that I was supposed to be waiting until February, it's June right now. I'm sorry about the traffic next to me, but I just like the spot. <laughs> but there's a busy road the other side of there, so I'm really sorry if you hear the traffic. I just thought it was just a perfect spot to film. So, um, I told the doctor that I'm getting spasms. I even felt spasms across my head here. I've been feeling them there, across my chest, across my stomach, down my legs, under my feet, all of it. So I am not sitting in A&E, which is what they like to get you to do. They would say, okay, go to A&E. I said to the doctor, come on, I've been here before. Please just send me for a scan. So he's going to write to the consultant and it's going to suggest that either they bring my appointment forward or they give me a scan. So I just thought I'd catch up with you over this for those that are recovering, for those that may be just finding out they've got cervical myelopathy or neuropathic um, problems. Um, hold on tight there people if you are there is answers out there but you do need to push it I have found that when I went for my surgery I couldn't be I couldn't I was so amazed at how many <clears throat> people were there that couldn't even walk and I just thought, thought to myself there is no way at 52 they're gonna leave me to go off my feet and that's what I said to the doctor today I said look I'm too young to be off my feet and he went to right you are and I said well can we get this sorted then so yeah that's where I'm at <clears throat> and I just wanted you to be aware of this because it's such a silent disease it started with spasms in my bicep under no for no reason I've always had a bad bad neck so I couldn't say it was because of the pains in my neck but that was another symptom uh, balance is another symptom and uh, 
weakness which I drop things all the time it's getting worse and sometimes I can't I can't go out walk in I couldn't I just couldn't so I just hate my time but I want you to be aware of this because there's a lot of people that are diagnosed with this but you know it's horrible because it's like a it's like a sentence for your body isn't it that's what I feel like anyway um, so I hope that this helps somebody especially if you're unsure that you're <clears throat> even even if you're unsure if it's carpal tunnel because that's what mine they thought mine was carpal tunnel and it wasn't and I was treated with steroids in both my wrists for carpal tunnel which lasted a week I still have carpal tunnel on my right hand but most of it is from overuse repetitive strain working too many hours not having a rest not giving your body chance to rest so be told people make the most of your time make the most of your health we only have it once don't we i really hope that you enjoyed this video i think i'm going to take you through this little bit though because i do think that you'll enjoy it um if you haven't watched my nature walks my virtual walks and stuff please do please do go and have a look because um they're really good if I say so myself, my editing's getting really good. So please do watch, please do absorb, pop on your headphones, get in nature with me. I'm behind that camera pushing it. <laughs> so let's do it. Anyway, it's a beautiful day in the UK. And um, yeah. I just thought you'd appreciate me doing a video outside. I really hope that the, the traffic wasn't too noisy and that you get some kind of knowledge from my video, okay? I'm getting to a busy road now. I'm gonna turn the video around so you can see it. Anyway, love, light, and peace to you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give me a comment, a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. But some excellent videos coming up now <laughs> coming up soon thank you love light and peace to you Subscribe for more upcoming videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell and hit all. And leave me your comments. And also make sure you give me a good thumbs up. Thanks for listening. Love, light, peace to you. I hope you enjoyed my video.
Post Orbs is my next video, so stay tuned.